Welcome to my presentation. I am the lead professor for the capstone course in National University's Masters of Accountancy program. As the lead, I have designed our capstone course on a case-based group format. This is the last course in the program, and students have already been together for approximately 18 months by the time they enter this course. So they are well aware of their strengths and weaknesses. They've already established a group type relationship with each other and it may be a little bit easier for them to go into a group format than for students who have never been in one before. By the time they are prepared to go into our groups, they along with myself choose their working relationships. This presentation provides a self-report from a professor's analysis after students are finished scoring their rubric. The focus of the presentation is in two areas, case analysis and group formatting. The intent of the capstone, designed as case studies, is assessment of student learning in the program at National University. After studying accounting issues in the areas of tax, intermediate accounting, advanced accounting, managerial accounting, and auditing areas. The casework is supplied from the True Blood case studies supported by the Delight Foundation, covering complex accounting and auditing issues encountered in accounting practice. Cases selected are applicable to program courses such as intermediate, advanced accounting, auditing, managerial, and ethics in accounting. Cases provide students opportunity to research professional pronouncements, for instance, from the AICPA, the AIC, the FASB, the IFRS, IAS, and CPCAOB. Classes designed in group format enhance student preparation for essential skills necessary in today's workplace. Providing our students the opportunity to practice skills in an academic setting enables an assessment of their learning experience, while empowering them as critical thinkers, collaborators, and problem solvers. This presentation includes support from the academic community for a case based strategy and group learning. Assessment of capstone students from rubric analysis and student self reporting is added for the presentation. Case based learning. This is a ped pedagogy which helps learners improve their higher order thinking ability and achieve deeper understanding of the to-be-learned content. The content of cases and the process of discussion are inseparable. Engaging our students in discussions provides the vehicle for analysis, solutions, evaluation of potential problems, and their solutions in the overall decision-making process. The first three things we can count on from case-based learning is we improve higher order thinking, achieve deeper understanding of the to-be-learned content, and gain actual practice researching accounting standards to solve complex issues. Cases improve student ability to ask the right questions, and students gain experience presenting ideas to others. In addition, students teach themselves and others, and most of all, they're active participants in their own progress. In our group format, group discussion is at the core of success in case-based learning. What do students learn in groups? 
the content as in mask the material. The content at deeper levels we equate with understanding. They learn how groups function productively and also why groups make better decisions through different perspectives, construct deliberation, questioning and critical analyses resulting in better solutions and performance. Now academic community supports case-based learning and group work. I've only put a few to mention here. The IBS Center for Management Research they refer to case analysis and group format, that the group must ensure that all group members contribute to preparation and discussion. It's very important that group can achieve a cohesive team. Problems between team members are likely to have an adverse impact on the group's overall performance. When they work on case study in a group, students must be able to understand and deal with the different points of view and perspectives of other members in their team. This serves to improve their communication and interpersonal skills. The Eberly Center for Teaching Excellence in Education Innovation at Carnegie Mellon addresses framework for case-based discussion commenting, create groups and monitor them to make sure everyone is involved. At Stanford University, their newsletter on teaching notes increasing number of professors are recognizing the value of also assigning collaborative work to their students and helping students master concepts and applying them to situations calls for complex applications of critical thinking skills. Working in small groups promote learning. In addition to this, Grading the group's achievement overall should be based on both the success of the final product and the group's assessment of its operations. The groups themselves can evaluate the effectiveness of their own work toward the final product and assess each member's contribution. This is what we're presenting here in this presentation. Cornell Center for Teaching Excellence States collaborative learning is based on the view that knowledge is a social construct. One of the principles which collaborate activities together includes working in groups as an important mode of learning. They state many instructors find that through peer instruction students teach each other by addressing misunderstandings and clarifying misconceptions. Group problem solving is an instructional strategy, a collaborative student-centered approach to learn in which students learn about a subject by working in groups to solve an open-ended problem. At Harvard Business School, the C. Roland Christensen Center for Teaching and Learning, say that the case-based method every classroom becomes a crucible part participant-centered learning. Students not only assume responsibility for their education, but exercise fundamentals of leadership that they will practice the rest of their lives. They establish two important pedagogical principles, use of cases as teaching vehicles, and second, engage students in the learning process by getting them to teach themselves and each other in groups. They let students assume lead roles and openly challenge each other with con contrary opinions and analysis. By doing this, we offer a pathway to greater understanding and experience. Group project grading rubrics were used for this class. They were evaluated as a unit, or we, as we say, group as a whole. There are seven categories you can see on the left and four possible scores. Our capstone groups fall within two scoring areas, four exceptional and three admirable, presented in the following slides. The first two categories in our rubric, group cooperation and distribution of group tasks, 
In both categories, our group scored exceptional. Number four. The second slide shows group leadership and communication among members. In both these areas, our students scored three admirable. One or more persons took a leadership role and gave good directions that kept us from going. As opposed to four, where we would have a leader who helped us organized. Communication, we usually ask each other for help and showed our work to each other. In the fifth rubric category, individual participation within group, all groups scored exceptional number four. Everyone did a great job and I would work with these people again. In this category, listening to others' points of view, we had admirable score three. Versus four where everyone listened to each other a lot and used what we learned to improve our work in the whole project. Three, we listened to while others talked. We learned about different viewpoints and used some of what information, or some of that information in our group project. Showing respect was exceptional. All were courteous and valued each other's opinion. Why did we have admirable in this score? Our evaluation of groups as a unit. In the leadership and listening to other points of view, we have admirable. In all other groups scored exceptional. Students in the groups listened while others talked, learned, about different viewpoints and use some of the information in their case analysis. Students did not report listening to each a lot or using what they heard to improve their work and the project as a whole. Students found that dividing up the tasks for case analysis allowed them to utilize their individual abilities that they had cultivated within the program as a whole. While the scores of exceptional and admirable are similar. Listening, learning, and using some of the information they learn from others can make a difference. Why group leadership is score three admirable? Well, this capstone course is at the end of the Master's of Accountancy program. The students in the capstone were in the program together and had already established who the leaders in the program were. Therefore, it was expected that one or more persons would take a leadership role. Why listening to other points of view is admirable. Students in our groups listened while others talked, learned about different viewpoints, and used some of the information in their analysis. They did not report listening to each a lot or using what they had heard to improve their work and the project as a whole. The students found is that dividing up the tasks for the case analysis allowed them to utilize their individual abilities they had cultivated in the program as a whole before entering the capstone. 
While the scores of exceptional and admirable are similar, listening, learning, and using some of the information they learn from others can make a difference. Again, if we look at the overall importance in these areas that we've discussed, why listening to other points of view is admirable, three is not a bad score. You take it as a whole. Not all groups can be exceptional. We look at the fact that they did learn. They did talk to each other and use each other's opinions to improve their work. But remember, we were lucky. We had students moving through a program who had already established a type of group model rapport with themselves from the very beginning. And that enabled them to easily form groups with their peers in the capstone. Professor's Conclusions As I mentioned before, I was amazingly surprised to find that students had formed a group think model prior to entering the capstone course, which gave them an advantage. It's being different than just going into a course for the first time and going into groups of people that you don't know. In establishing relationships with each other, they learned about each other's strengths and weaknesses. They learned how to help each other. I was also amazed to find out that they had created a Facebook and used other technologies for communication amongst themselves from the beginning of the program, including in the capstone course where I am the lead. The cases that were presented to them, the True Blood cases, are known to be very rigorous. And the design for group analysis and doing it on a group format proved to be an excellent choice. Most of all, what had been in prior situations a foreboding task for them with respect to the accounting research, they felt that they learned a lot researching with each other. What we call this is higher order thinking. They accomplished a higher order critical analysis which did result in better solutions and performance in the individual cases. Every student responding to the rubric added additional comments, one of which is that the group work, especially in the complex True Blood cases, which test their knowledge of a program as a whole, increase their ability and security in moving forward in the accounting world from their experience in the capstone course. So for myself, I could very well answer my own question. Yes, case studies and contemporary accounting issues utilizing a group format do enhance student experience.